Hello, everybody. Today we will discuss about probe orientation. That is how the probe is placed on body in longitudinal and cross section. And along with this, we will also study the image orientation on screen. So let's begin with the lecture. The probe marker, also known as the orientation marker or indicator, is a small symbol located on one side of the ultrasound probe. Common symbols include a notch, groove, or arrow. Its primary purpose is to serve as a reference point to indicate the orientation of the ultrasound probe relative to the patient's anatomy. Placing the orientation marker correctly is crucial because it determines the orientation of the ultrasound image. If the marker is positioned incorrectly or in the opposite direction, relative to the anatomy being imaged, the resulting ultrasound image will appear reversed or mirrored by paying attention to the orientation marker and ensuring it is aligned properly. Healthcare providers can accurately interpret ultrasound images and make informed diagnostic decisions. While scanning in a longitudinal section, which means the ultrasound probe is positioned parallel to the long axis of the body along the length of the structure, the probe orientation marker should be pointed or facing towards the patient's head while scanning in a transverse section. Remember the probe orientation marker should be pointed or facing towards the right side of the patient's body, so operators should make sure that the ultrasound probe is positioned in a line correctly, as we will see in latter slides. This helps the operator interpret correctly the orientation of anatomical landmarks and internal structures. The probe marker ensures consistency and accuracy in image acquisition, leading to better diagnosis and treatment decisions. In ultrasound imaging, the screen indicator or screen orientation marker is relative to the patient's anatomy and not the position of the sonographer or the patient themselves. For almost all standard applications and procedures, the indicator orientation marker position is on the left side of the screen. However, only condition in which the screen indicator marker appears on the right side of the screen is in cardiac mode. This deviation from the standard positioning is based on conventional viewing of heart, as if the observer is looking at the patient's chest from their feet, as if they were lying down facing upward. By aligning the orientation marker on the right side of the screen in cardiac mode, it matches the conventional viewing perspective of the heart. To, to find out image orientation on screen, divide the monitor into four halves using two imaginary lines. One line runs vertically from the top to the bottom of the screen, dividing it into a left half and a right half. The other line runs horizontally from right to left, dividing it into a top half and a bottom half. Keep this in mind now we should know what the left and right side of the screen corresponds to and what the top and bottom of screen corresponds to. In ultrasound imaging, the screen indicator is typically placed on the left side of the screen. This serves as a reference point for the orientation of the ultrasound image. When the ultrasound transducer is placed in a longitudinal section with the probe marker towards the patient's head or superiorly, the indicator on the screen will be on the left side. This indicates that the left side of the screen corresponds to the superior aspect of the patient's body, while the right side corresponds to the inferior aspect. With the transducer placed on the front of the body, the ultrasound waves enter the body from the front aspect. Therefore, the top of the screen corresponds to the anterior aspect, representing structures closer to the surface of the body as the ultrasound waves travel through the body, they pass posteriorly towards the back. Consequently, the bottom of the screen corresponds to the posterior aspect, representing deeper structures within the body. By understanding how the placement of the transducer and the orientation of the screen indicator correspond to anatomical directions, this helps healthcare providers to interpret ultrasound images correctly. Imagine we're using ultrasound to look at a blood vessel in a longitudinal section, meaning we're looking at it lengthwise 
As we studied in our previous slide on the ultrasound screen, the left side corresponds to the upper or superior part of the vessel. The right side corresponds to the lower or inferior part of the vessel. The top of the screen represents the anterior wall of the vessel, which is the front side facing outward. The bottom of the screen corresponds to the posterior wall of the vessel, which is the back side facing inward. The position of the indicator on the transducer corresponds to the position of the indicator on the screen. Since the screen indicator is on the left side of the screen, which is the patient's right side, the opposite of the indicator direction will be the patient's left side. As we have studied earlier, in cross-section the indicator on the transducer is pointing towards the patient's right. So what you see on the right side of the screen is actually the patient's left side. When we scan in coronal planes, it means we're imaging the body from a side view, either from the right or left lateral direction. The ultrasound beam enters the body from either the right or left side. Depending on the direction of the scan, this means we're looking at the body structures from a side perspective rather than from the front or back from this lateral direction. We can visualize different anatomical portions of the body that include lateral right or left we may also visualize structures away the midline of the body medial we may also visualize structures closer to the midline of the body superior we can visualize structures that are above or superior to the point of entry of the ultrasound beam inferior conversely we can also visualize structures that are below or inferior to the point of entry of the ultrasound beam Top two and bottom one images are shown. For practicing, image orientation on screen. First one is longitudinal section of gallbladder, showing fundus on right side of screen, which although is seen above the neck, so you might think that this is the superior portion of gallbladder, but according to probe orientation and longitudinal section that we have studied, it is the inferior portion of gallbladder while neck of gallbladder is superior portion, which exactly correlates according to human body anatomy. Second image is that of uterus, where fundus of uterus seen on left side of screen is superior, and cervix on the right side of screen is the lowermost portion of uterus. In cross section, the indicator on the transducer is pointing towards the patient's right. So what you see on the right side of the screen is actually the patient's left side and vice versa so right ovary will be on left side of screen okay with this we wrap up with our today's lecture this is a very important concept as you begin scanning if you could not got the concept please watch the video over and over again until you feel that you really got it in next video we will be covering sound parameters